And so the time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things. And it is time to talk of many things. Hi guys, it's Cozy. I know I haven't been around much, but it has been a little bit of a stressful month. And you guys know what's going on. You know, I'm having brain surgery. Um, obviously it hasn't happened yet because I still look like normal. Um, but it has been a little stressful leading up to that. So let's catch up. Let's chat. Let's talk about all the good, the bad, the ugly that's happened in the last month. And then uh, eventually we'll get into the really exciting things like, you know, Sister Wives coming back in September. I have pushed button and have messed my whole thing up. So where should we start? Let's start with some of the good. Uh, my youngest kids started school this year, so they are off to have an amazing kindergarten year and have a lot of fun. The oldest is in middle school and that's terrifying. So, you know, we're, we're getting that swing of everybody having school to do. And I wish you could see him. Graham is standing here. He got a new bone. Uh, and is very excited. It's a Nyla bone and he is thrilled and he thinks it's the best toy he's ever had in his entire life. And so he won't stop bringing it to me and chewing it on top of me. Now, Graham knows that there's a lot. Oh, there he is. You can see it. Yeah, you show the bone. Good boy. Um, Graham knows there's been a lot going on. Graham's been under a bit of stress because mommy's gone at appointments all the time and he doesn't like that. And now mommy's going to be gone at surgery and he certainly, hi baby, he certainly doesn't like it. So he's sharing his toy with me. Um, so yeah, kids started school. Graham got a new toy. He's very excited and wanted to come show it to everybody, I guess. And then, um, I have been everywhere, all over the place doing, you know, scans, tests, lab work, meeting this doctor, meeting that doctor, getting here, getting there, getting everything scheduled and settled and meeting the anesthesia team and meeting just about everybody you could imagine. Just about everybody you could imagine. And I still have moments where I wonder if this is the right thing to do uh, because, you know, it went undiagnosed for so long. And so it kind of feels like maybe this isn't real. Maybe I don't need to do this. Maybe Maybe I don't need surgery. Maybe I'm overreacting. And then you meet with people and they don't seem to think you're overreacting and they don't seem to think that there's a reason not to do it or a reason to delay any further. And so it becomes very difficult internally to decide whether or not this is the right thing to do, but we're here and that's kind of where we're at. And then in the middle of going to appointments everywhere under the sun, as it feels, my oldest broke his arm thing. Thankfully not his riding arm. He, he broke his left arm. He was riding his bike, fell off, and unfortunately broke his arm. And all you can do is just love him and take care of him and make sure that he's in as little pain as humanly possible. Thankfully, we have a great system of people in our lives who are willing to shuttle everyone to every appointment because uh, <laughs> we have one car and sometimes we have to be in two different places. So Thankfully, we've got people who can take care of that for us. And we got people who can take care of Graham and Freckles, even though she doesn't want to be in these videos because Graham is up here and she does not like him. <laughs> she is still with us and just perfectly fine. And happy hunky dory wherever in the house she is currently. I thought maybe she was hiding in her space, but she's not. Um, so we're doing all of that. And that is something. I don't know what else to say about it at this point. You know, we're a couple days out and I've been just sort of taking some time off to get myself into the correct, the correct mental headspace and to get my kids prepared, to get my house, like literally my physical house prepared for me to not um, be here for however many days I'm not here um, and not necessarily be up to doing all of the house chores that I normally do. So that's going to be a lot because I do most of them. Um, I do most of the chores. I do most of the gardening. Well, I do all of the gardening. My husband only goes out to the garden when he wants to eat all of the snap peas off of the plant before I've had a single chance to go out and harvest the snap peas for anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> it 
You would say it's his toxic trait, but I don't think it's toxic. And I just plant extra pea plants and don't tell him. <laughs> he wonders where they all come from. It's because I know that he loves them and I'm just going to plant a few extra next time. So uh, on top of that, I've also been working on crocheting bandanas. So this is one of the ones that I crocheted. Um, I, I'm trying to not, I don't really care about hiding the bald spot. It's going to be on the top of my head. There's not going to be much I can do. What I do care about is protecting it from the sun when I have to pick up my kids from the school bus, when I have to be outside at all. I care about protecting it. And so I've been crocheting some bandanas like this one. And this one's my pumpkin spice one since we're coming into fall. Um, to protect my head. You can see the little tie keeps sticking out back here. Um, super soft, super fun. I enjoy them. And people keep going, oh, what are you crocheting those for? And it's like, well, I don't really want to explain brain surgery to every person I meet, but hey, that's what they're for. I'm having brain surgery and I need to protect my head. So, um, like I said, we'd had a slight change of plans with the surgery. So we thought going in behind the ear, hair would cover it, wouldn't be a big deal. No, uh, the surgeon that we're going with, she actually prefers top of the head. She said it's less, um, there's less... What did she say? People tend to complain less about pain, about discomfort, about all of those things up here. And she said that a lot of people feel like when you go through the, um, behind the ear, that, uh, that, that they can't sleep, especially if they're side sleepers. And the thing is, I keep pointing over here, she's actually doing it over on this side. <laughs> and I can only fall asleep on my right side. So I guess if this will be better, uh, let's do it that way because I can't, I cannot fall asleep on my left side to save my life. I swear. I don't know what it is. My husband sleeps on that side of the bed and I guess, I don't know if I feel like if I lay on my left side, I'm staring at him like a creep. I don't know what it is, but I cannot fall asleep that way. But I've been that way my whole life. So I don't know. Maybe I just have an extreme preference for my right side. Who knows? But, um, because I'm right-handed and that tends to mean left-brained, they're going to go on, on the right side um, because it, it there tends to not be as much, um, I don't want to say as much to get in the way, but we'll say it that way. There tends not to be as much necessity for, for different functions. Uh, it's more storage, so it should be fine. I don't think I'm going to forget anything. So we're, we're just waiting now. It's the waiting game. They'll call me and tell me when to show up, and then I'm going to go. And that's going to be what it's going to be. And once I am out and settled, um, I'm, I, I'm going to make a video about what this experience was like going through brain surgery because it, it's been hard. When people hear you have to have brain surgery, they automatically assume that it has to be brain cancer or a tumor or something to that effect, and they treat you like you're sick. And I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't want to make anybody think that I have cancer, that I am, you know, in that level of illness or danger. I have a condition. It's not going to go away, apparently. Uh, and it's not changing. And so... I, I kind of want to let people know, like, hey, there's more than one reason, and, um, you know, just talk about what the experience is like getting this done, because it sounds scary <laughs> when they talk about it, and maybe it won't be. She said it only takes about an hour once they actually get in and start doing it. It takes, like, an hour, and it's done, which seems so shocking to me. Absolutely shocking. But I want to update you guys on, like, how it all works, so don't worry. When I do that, I will make sure that there is plenty of information, hi sweetheart, in the title to let you guys know, hey, if you don't want to hear about whatever they did to my head, don't click on this one. Hi, baby. That's my big giant baby. Hi. Hi. He's so nice. He's so nice to check on me. Yes. Oh, you looked at the camera this time. Oh, that's so sweet. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to put it. Timestamp. Yeah, that was almost really gross, wasn't it? Um, so, all that to say, as soon as Sister Wives comes back, I'm going to jump right back into Sister Wives. Uh, 
I'm going to give myself that grace period of just like, hey, we're not going to do the rewatch right now. We're not going to do any of that because this is this is stressful. It's a lot. Can you not tear my couch apart? Thank you. <laughs> and so I'm going to give myself that grace and say, listen, we'll be back with regular content as soon as Sister Rives comes back because that'll be great. But in the meantime, we'll talk about what this whole experience has looked like, what this process has looked like, just to give people, you know, more information because a lot of people don't know that pseudotumor exists. Heck, even some of the doctors I've seen have been like, I don't know what that is. What is that? And you're like, oh, well. So it's been a lot. Please don't drink that. <laughs> so it's been a lot to deal with. Uh, I am excited, sort of. I'm, I'm sort of excited for Sister Wives to come back. I'm conflicted on how I actually feel about it. But I'm excited to get to do all of this with you guys again. Um... And so, yeah, I can't wait to get a chance to talk to you guys once all of this is done, once I'm able to articulate all of this better, because I feel like I'm really scatterbrained right now. I feel like I'm all over the place and that I just need to just breathe and just sort of be along for the ride right now. And um, I'm glad you guys have been along for the ride, too. It's meant a lot. I see your comments. I see you guys checking up on me. I know I haven't been updating a lot um, because I can't right now. I just, I have so many appointments and so many everything to get done that one thing had to give. And unfortunately, it was this one thing for this month. But we'll be back super soon. Um, my husband is more than happy to come on and... Uh, chat with you guys if you're really lonely uh, and tell you all of the things that he thinks about season 19 <laughs> before it gets started what he thinks is going to be going on so you know if you want to bother him feel free <laughs> I'm sure he'll have plenty to say I showed him the trailer and he was already heated and I'm so excited that now that he is uh, off of night shift that he actually will probably be able to watch Sister Wives with me so I won't have to watch it by myself and then just hit. He used to just have me watch it and then watch my recap videos and then watch the episode and then freak out about all of the things. So maybe we'll get to watch it together. It'll be super duper exciting. So let's all take a deep breath. Tomorrow's a new day and I'll see you guys super, super soon. Bye.